again, starting with our parish president, Larry Cochran, to, uh, to give you a quick briefing. Mr. Cochran. Thank you, Joe. Um, as uh, Joe stated, I'm parish president, Larry Cochran. Yesterday, about 618, we were alerted to a, um, a fire at uh, Phillips, Conoco, and uh, Parity. We uh, established unified command through the Parity Volunteer Fire Department, LDEQ, St. Charles Parish Emergency Preparedness Department, State Police, St. Charles Sheriff's Office, and uh, representatives of uh, Phillips 66 and Williams' uh, Discovery. They were at the incident command post inside of Williams' facility. We, uh, we, we had an evacuation. We had the evacuation. Uh, we had the people go to the Edward A. Dufresne Community Center at 274 Judge Edward Dufresne Parkway in Little Lane, and it's still serving as a shelter right now. We have about 11 residents there. Um, we evacuated approximately six houses in the area. The parish is working closely with Phillips 66 to handle the situation. Their employees uh, are present here at the EOC and the shelter. Um, I'd like to hand it off to um, the fire chief of the Parity Volunteer Fire Department, Chief Oliver Dufresne. Good morning, Fire Chief Oliver Dufresne, Parity Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, as President Cochran mentioned yesterday afternoon, approximately 618, Parity's Fire Department, along with the Zalmas Fire Department and Ruling Volunteer Fire Department, were dispatched to the area of the Williams facility. Upon arrival, uh, we had a, a pretty large incident, the fire pressure fire. Uh, we set up parameter uh, cooling to cool some ad adjacent piping. Uh, got that under control and uh, assessed the situation. Evacuations were taken care of. Highways were blocked. The railroad was shut down and uh, maintained a safe environment uh, as we could with the situation we had. Okay. Good morning. I'm Trooper Melissa Megan with the Louisiana State Police. Um, first, I want to start off by saying that our hearts and prayers are with the families that were affected um, by this explosion. Um, one thing that we do want to release immediately is that the evacuation has been lifted. However, on Highway 631, we still have areas blocked. Uh, the only people that are going to be allowed to travel in that area are the people that reside in that area. They will have to have a driver's license with that address in order to go through that area. Uh, we ask everybody else to stay away from that area. We don't need onlookers um, because crews are out there currently working um, on that pipeline. Today the fire has significantly improved and there has been a decrease in the pressure in the pipeline, which is all, the, they're all positive things that are happening out there. Um, other than that, we're, we're going to continue to work with all of the different disciplines that are up here. Um, as the parish president said, this is a unified command, and that's the way it's going to remain. Thank you. Oh, Phil 66, I'm sorry. Phil 66. Also, I wanted to mention, DEQ was on scene um, last night. They remained on scene, and they have some uh, special assent, and they're, they're uh, monitoring the gas, uh, air quality situation. I'll let him uh, go into that. Well, good morning. I'm Todd Denton. General Manager of uh, Midstream Operations for Phillips 66, and uh, I'll just start by saying this is a first for me in my career for this uh, serious type of incident, and I can't express strongly enough the concern uh, that, that I have and the Phillips 66 family has uh, for those impacted uh, by this event and, and their families. And I want to assure everyone that we are working uh, with the community affected by the event, our contractors, our employees, and their families. And that, that absolutely is our top priority right now. So I'll start with the statement uh, with what we know about the incident at this time uh, and then open it up for some questions. Uh, so thank you for joining us today for an update related to the Parity incident at the Parity Pump Station located 30 minutes west of New Orleans. Uh, we have the following updates as of 1045 this morning. One of the two injured contractors has been released from the hospital. Uh, the second remains hospitalized. Uh, one Phillips 66 employee remains unaccounted for. Uh, local and state emergency response agencies are managing the incident response, as uh, was mentioned in the Unified Command, and, and uh, we really appreciate uh, the, the uh, co cooperation by everyone involved in that. The pipeline has been blocked in. Uh, valves have been closed. Uh, the closest valves have been closed to the, to the source. 
uh, and the remaining product in the line does continue to burn, as was mentioned earlier. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Uh, obviously, it will take a little time to get in there and determine exactly what happened. Uh, as also mentioned, ongoing air monitoring to the area indicates no health impacts to the surrounding community, and we are doing constant monitoring. Uh, so far, we see no, no impact at all. Uh, as mentioned, our priority remains ensuring the safety of our workers, uh, responders, and the community. And we have established a community response line. Uh, that number is 800 766 6362. I'll give it to you again. It's 1 800 766 6362. And then we're also providing updates uh, on a website that is www.parityincident.com. Uh, of course, parity is P A R A D I S incident.com. And finally, I'll just say I really can't thank enough. The, res the first responders that have set up that unified command with us, the state troopers, uh, parish officials, local police, DEQ, governor's office, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing some, but uh, everyone, everyone has been very cooperative and helpful and uh, the response has gone very well so far. So with that, I'll open it up to any questions or any others. Mr. Dent, were any special operations taking place on that pipeline at the time of the explosion? Um, so what we know at the time, it was routine maintenance. Uh, there were six... Uh, workers in that uh, small facility that we have near near that plant. Um, there were three contract workers, three Phillips employee workers. As I mentioned, one of the contract workers remains hospitalized and we still have one employee unaccounted for, but it was a routine maintenance operation. Where was the employee who's missing? Where was, is it he or she? Or it was a he. Where was he at the time? Inside that facility. It's a small fence facility. We don't know exactly where he was at. Um, we're still talking to the employees that were uh, there at the time, and obviously they're shaking up. The rest of our employees are, are shaking up as well, and so we're still trying to piece together that story. We'll, we will be starting that investigation today. Can you tell us the extent of the injuries of the people who were injured? I, I can't. I know the, the our two employees that are accounted for are fine. They, as far as I know, they didn't even need treatment. Um, two of the contract workers are out of the hospital, uh, and one is in the hospital. We don't know his condition. Could you review what is the damage to a facility, what extent? So it's a small facility. It's, uh, it's basically the end of a pipeline. Um, and it's, it's in a, I would, I would guess, about a 20 by 40 foot area. Uh, so it's pipe, a few valves, things like that. And uh, it's, there's, there's not much to it. And so the damage we don't know. Obviously, it's 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 burning now. We don't know where the release point was and what caused the fire. And what exactly is this uh, liquid? What is it used for? So it's uh, what we call Y grade. It's it's raw natural gas liquids. Uh, it's typically made up of uh, propane, butane, things like that. Uh, and it's a highly volatile liquid. And uh, typically, it's used to go into plants where they separate out the various pieces of it to, to produce propane and butane and other uh, products like that. Is there still any fire at all there? Yes, so um, as mentioned, the fire is going down. The pressure is falling on the pipeline. It's slowly burning off. We're uh, evaluating ways now to actually clamp that line uh, closer to reduce the amount of product that's left to burn off. Is there an estimate as to how long it will continue to burn? Uh, that's hard to say. It really is. I, it's, um, you know, based on how it's diminished so far, it could be another couple of days. We're hoping that we can come up with a solution to stop it quicker. I understand there was supposed to be some flaring in St. James. Uh, it, it, is there any chance that that's related to? I don't know anything about that. Okay. Can you elaborate any more on the maintenance operation, Mr. Denmore? Was the section being replaced? Was the valve being replaced? Was there cleaning going on? No, sir. It's uh, it's really again routine maintenance. It, it's uh, we run what we call cleaning pigs through our pipelines. Uh, they were uh, receiving that pig into that trap, and we don't know what happened after that. That's that's the one under investigation. Parish President mentioned you're monitoring air quality. Can you talk about that anymore? Any uh, from our side, we we hire a contract firm uh, to come in, and then they they evaluate with monitors. Uh, they set up a perimeter monitor all kinds of different gases, uh, different uh, things in the air to make sure that the air is safe. 
and obviously with, with it burning, we're not seeing anything uh, that's harmful to the public. Do you all intend to um, identify the missing worker? Uh, we, out of respect for the family at this time, we don't want to identify who it is. Can you say who the contractor is? I'd rather not do that. Can you tell us if he's a local person, if he's from Paradio Central Parish? Our employee or? The employee who's He's missing. a local employee. Thank you all. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank those for getting in here quickly. They got in overnight. And I'd like to thank all of the uh, the, um, the first responders and all um, for doing a great job up there. I'd like to point out my uh, one of my councilmen, Billy Woodruff, another one, uh, Tara Wilson, being here. Thank you all. Thank you all very much. And uh, if we have another press conference, we'll let you all know. Thank you all very much for uh, coming. Thank you. 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 Thank you.